Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Salazar and thank you for joining me today. Um, it is, it's been a very, very rough day in thinking about my future in this game. Um, and first and foremost, I just want to thank pretty much everyone that has provided me with anything Pokemon related, whether it would be TCG Collector or Collector Day or when Blast for the Past is around, um, to Pop Stop and Record and Papa Nui and um, just every single card shop that has provided some awesome Pokemon stuff. It's, um, it's been awesome, so thank you so much for that. Um, but at the end of 2022 would be my final year of playing this game competitively maybe for good um haven't quite decided if it's too good or not um it just i don't know it's hard to say um that i don't want to say that i'm the worst player out there now because i'm definitely not and i know that um but it's the fact that I want the game to evolve with different people and without like me being there I feel like that I'm not really an asset to playing the game anymore I don't feel really, I don't feel like that I'm playing as well as what I used to which was like my prime years in the game were probably about two years ago um, in the Sun and Moon era and um I guess that was my peak and um now that there are more players out there like the splash brothers from like come like from the people of joel and alex and um nick um aaron as well he's getting better and this new guy called tom he's been phenomenal lately and i've i barely know that fella like i've probably only met him like four times this year and um just from how quickly he's evolved into the game and how quickly he's been uh, into the competitive scene so quickly um, is really, really amazing. So, um, you know, I mean, I don't want to say it sucks to lose lately to these new fellas because, you know, eventually I'm not going to lose games and everyone does. But it's, um, I mean, it is good to see. I'm not going to lie. It is very, very good to see. And, um, you know, um, I don't think I've got too much longer left. Um, now, I say that because um, I just don't feel like I've been myself in the game lately. So that my finger's in the way, by the way. Um, but I haven't been myself in the game. And I've always said to myself, if I know that I'm not playing well then that's when I'll stop um and you know I don't want to be the guy that is salty you know I'm not a salty person I can accept defeat always have been able to um but um I just feel then I'm not myself in the game anymore. And um, I haven't been for a very, very long time. Um, and now it's time for me to finally accept that and move on. Um, so my goal now is to um, really just sort my life out. You know, I mean, um, my job here is pretty good. Um, where I am in Tamura, New Zealand, it's all right. Like it's not the greatest job in the world, which is maggots, but you know, as I can say for most people out there, it's a job, and um, that's all I can really say. I mean, it's a job, and I appreciate the job for what it is. Um, and not having to pretty much scrounge around like I used to. And, um, 
yeah, so anyway, apart from that, I'm going to pursue a new career, and that is in um, simulation racing, which is like, uh, like in Gran Turismo and maybe Forza and, um, um, so yeah, I mean, it, it's never been an easy choice, um, to move away from the game, like, playing this game has made me a way better person, meeting an awesome community, um, to making new friends, meeting unbelievable players on the on in the online scene as well has been um incredible. Um, and I can really say that I've I would I wouldn't change this for the world. Um, like this game has brought me happiness. Um, and it's brought me, um, what can I say, like, I guess it's, I guess it's made me an overall better person. Like, yeah, cool, I've had some ups and downs in this community, and I, and I know that. I mean, I've been a right dumbass sometimes. Um, well, probably not sometimes, all the time. And, um... I just want to say that I'm sorry to those people because um you know it wasn't like I didn't mean to do all that like I wanted to be the best person I could attitude wise and unfortunately due to my own self I wasn't um So yeah, it's insane that, as I said before, this is going to be my last year in this game. Um, so the people I have to thank is my old friend Haywood. Now, I, I say old because me and him aren't really friends anymore, which still hurts to this day. It still hurts that, like, a 14-year friendship goes down the drain. And I'm sure people in this world also know about that. Um, like losing friends like that, even if it's if, it, if it's death or if it's just just genuinely losing a friend. So um, yeah, I, I, but you know I thank him. He got me into this game in X and Y base set in February fifth, two thousand and fourteen, and since that day with another one of my mates, Alex Gurney, helping me with a deck. Um, and what was good to play that back then. Um, and just giving me so much tips, like the people I met there, all the advice that they gave me was amazing. It was literally the best advice that I've ever taken from anyone, was playing this game better. And, um, I thank every single person for that. Um, I also thank Alex Gurney, um, Matthias, back in the day from Blast from, Blast from the Past. You know, they gave me all these amazing products to give me better decks. Um... And, you know, stuff went on, which is kind of confidential, and I won't really say what happened back then. Um, that went on then that, I was, that I'm, to this day, not proud of. But, um, unfortunately, that's what it was back then. And, um, you know, I still really respect those guys. I really do, for everything that they had to put up with me back then to... Being the person I am now, I feel like I got a good kick up the ass from that. I really did. So, um, you know, I just thank all of them. Um, and I also want to really just thank everyone that played back then. I don't remember everyone's names, but um, 
I would definitely remember them if I saw them again. Um, to people today, um, in like what for like the last two or so years, that's been the ultimate prime of my of my years playing this game. Um, to playing Guzzlord back in the day when I found it good, no one else really found it good, um, but I did. Um, to playing Baby Blacephalon in the Expanded series, um, to playing Mew to a Mew, uh, Reshiram Charizard in the Crossroots Championship in 2019, um, to just introducing new people into this game and enjoying absolutely, absolutely every single bit of it. Like... This game has brought me nothing but happiness. <laughs> like meeting so many new people. No, no, kind of, I'm I'm kind of repeating myself. I know that, um, and I'm sorry. But um, you know, I just can't really say enough. Really, I mean, this game is incredible to bring out new people and the way we do it like there's no better feeling there's no better community out there than pokemon in my opinion um everyone is just so caring they're thoughtful um they look after one another um and they give uh tips and tricks and had to build decks and um that's the art of it it really is um and I kind of just feel bad for myself knowing that I don't really think I've helped the people that I would have loved to like um I don't really feel like I've been the best ambassador even though a lot of people seem to think I am, um, just cause of everything that I've done in life in the community, um, to, like, used to, used to host events, now that's up to the net, and she's done a bloody good job with it, um, you know, to playing competitively, and I've enjoyed everything about that. Um, I also want to thank some more people from today, like, from, from these days, like, um, like my mates Joel, Alex, and Nick, I met Nick and, um, Aaron last year, um, or was it, it might have been the end of 2019, not 100%, might have been, I don't know, it was last year, I'm afraid, so, um, before COVID, I met them, and, um, you know, I, I didn't really know what to think of, um, them at first, like, I thought, oh, God, yeah, they're just here to, to play their game for, like, one time, and that's probably it, um, but to see what they have accomplished now, like, they have done so much in this community. They've provided their own, well, they've now got their own YouTube, Facebook page um, going on called the Splash Brothers. So please make sure you check them out to support them because they are definitely just nothing short of amazing. Um, but um, they are fantastic people. You know, I met, as I said before, I met them, I met them all last year. Um, and I, I, I don't want to really say that I trained them a lot because, you know, I mean, yeah, I played games with them, but I didn't really train them to the, to their best of abilities, you know, and, um, they pretty much learned themselves through coming to tournaments, to playing competitively there and, um, you know, eventually winning them, um, especially Joel, he's 
just been absolute menace in the community lately. He's winning games, he's winning tournaments, he's building amazing decks, and he's sharing them with his community as well at the Splash Brothers. And um, just what a guy! Like, just I can't really say anything else about him. He's just a fantastic person. Um. And I respect him. I, re I really do. He's he's a person that um that has a lot of respect for new players and all that. Um, and to Aaron as well. He's been a phenomenal player as much as he has had. Some up and some up and down games in his in his um short time in the community, but he's been a very very good player. Um, one person I've also forgot to mention as well, and I've met him. I've met him a long time ago, very very long time ago. Um, and that's Kellen. Um, he was the best player around. Um, even though, to, probably still today, if he got back into it, he'd still be one of the best players. Because of how consistent that man is. Of a, um, you know, even his generosity back in the day, like he used to always help people out with cards that were super duper expensive. Like Tapulele back in the day when that was expensive, he used to hook people up with him. Like new people as well. Um... He used to just message, message or um, post on the group, um, on the page back then, just to see if anyone would be at the card shop to have a game, and um, the type of person he was, he would be there. He would like be that person that would just stay there, pretty much all day, buying cards, making decks, playing the game as. A good person should and does to um yeah pretty much we're nearly winning every single local to local tournament um that's all I can really say about him really he was a great a great person for the community and for my personal experience as well he he trained me to be a fantastic player and how to build consistent builds of decks you know i mean when i first started i just thought oh, probably the more pokemon you have the better you know and obviously that wasn't the case back in the x y day well even to that like the game is about having a a perfect blended deck like a uh, stuff in your deck so like perfect blended trainers and energy and pokemon um and um this i can really just say is that um, just never give up, really, I mean, keep going at it, if it comes to the time, like my time now, where playing this game is not an option, then it's probably time for you to knock it on the head and that's it, um, no, I mean, I don't really have much to say left, um, I am very upset that I'm doing this, but I've got to do it for my own sake. Um, it's just come to the point where I can't do it anymore. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there are a lot of people out there that are going to miss me playing in this community. Um, even though it doesn't really feel like it, but I know there will be. Like, <sighs> I mean, it's tough. So I'm again getting a bit emotional because this game has done so much for me. And to to pretty much end it all um, it's going to be very very hard. So um, when that time comes I will be doing another video on pretty much my my last day of the tournament oh sorry of my last tournament that I could play in um 
I mean, my accomplishments aren't really much. I mean, all of that really are is local tournament wins and um, other people's events placings and all that. Um, that's only been my accomplishments. I haven't really, I haven't won any New Zealand titles or been to a world championship or been to Oceania. Um, you know, that's, that's a real downside to me playing this game and say, I haven't achieved much and I've always wanted to, and I've just never really pursued it. Um, and there's been multiple times where I could have pursued that dream and I never took it. I never took those opportunities and I feel like it's just time wasted now. It's too late for me to do that. Um, but to everyone that watches this video, I want to say that continue with your dreams. If this game is your life, then continue with it. I don't, I don't want this video to make you quit the game. Um, I mean, to everyone that is still playing out there, keep it up. This game is just nothing short of amazing. Um, but I will probably still play this online. I will still do online stuff after I stop playing in real life. And that might be a bit hard because, I mean, oh, sorry, that's going to go like that. Um, but that might be a bit hard because, um, you know, it'll just make, try and make me get back into the game even more. But, um, I don't know. I might still play it casually. I don't know. But, um, as I, as I, I mentioned it a little bit before, and that was just me pursuing a new career in gaming. And that's going to be simulation racing, as I said before. The stuff like Gran Turismo, Forza, Assetto Corsa, stuff like that. Um, and, but it's really competitive. Um, and I want to be a part of it. Um, you know, I mean, I went out at Armageddon this year, a lot of people had respect for me saying, like, they, they all thought that I was, that I played this game 24-7 and competed with the best people in the world, but I don't, I just, I just know how to play a racing game and I barely ever play Gran Turismo, I don't, I don't even have my own simulator. So I'm going to have to get that sorted. Um, and for the fact that they they just they were just like, really, you don't have a simulator. You barely ever play this game and you are the fastest man here. You know, that just shows me that I just really want to do it. Cause, um, I couldn't pursue my actual, my actual dream, which was to become a race driver. I couldn't pursue that due to me having to look after family and not having the money to do it. Um, so so before, the, before I end this video, I just really want to say thank you to everyone again for putting up with me. And um, let's hope that with this one year remaining of, of me playing this game, is a good one. Um, we've got Evolving Skies coming out soon in our next set after Chilling Rain, which is coming out on June 18, so really not that far away. And I'm super, super excited for it. Um, you know, you've got so much stuff coming out. And this game is just going to continue to evolve and evolve and evolve. Um, and I look forward to seeing it all. So... Thank you for joining me in this video. I know that this may be hard for some people to take in because they've known me for a very long time. And um, But anyway, I will catch you guys on the scene. Hopefully um, COVID doesn't stop any more big events next year because I'd love to be a part of a great big tournament and um that would be awesome so 
Anyway, guys, I'm going to end it here, and um, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Signing out.